Adelaide Writers England failed to make the inroads into the Australian batting order they needed after gambling on bowling first in the inaugural Day Night Ashes test on Saturday and the hosts reached the second break on 138 for two. Cricket Ashes Test Match Australia v England Adelaide Oval, Adelaide, Australia December 2, 2017 England's Craig Overton reacts after diving to try and reach a catch from Australia's captain Steve Smith during the first day of the second Ashes Cricket Test Match. Reuters' David Gray Cameron Bancroft was run out after a 90-minute rain delay and David Warner was caught behind for 47 but Usman Kawaja survived a scare to finish the extended session on 53 not out with his skipper Steve Smith unbeaten on 25. Joe Root's decision to put Australia into bat after a ring 10-wicket defeat in the series opener on Monday was always going to be controversial, going as it did against the captain's mantra of, always bet first. His gamble needed England's pace men to put intense pressure on the batsmen from the start of the day but James Anderson and Stuart Broad bowled too short and failed to threaten the Australian wickets in a rain-disrupted opening session. Warner has long shed the rash aggression of earlier in his career and he and Bancroft bided their time, picking off the occasional boundary to keep the scoreboard ticking over. England got a break they probably did not deserve four balls into the second session when Warner ignored another cricketing mantra, never run off the misfield. Cricket Ashes Test Match Australia v England Adelaide Oval, Adelaide, Australia December 2, 2017 England's Craig Overton dives to try and reach a catch from Australia's captain Steve Smith during the first day of the second Ashes Cricket Test Match. Reuters' David Graith left-handed opener called for a run when Moen Ali fumbled the ball before changing his mind and leaving Bancroft and stranded as Chris Wokes shied the wickets. Rod, who managed to push the batsmen back more regularly in the second session, produced the first big appeal for LBW off the next ball and the record crowd of more than 53,000 fans came alive. As all-rounder Moen, who had been an injury doubt because of a finger problem, came on to bowl his spin, the sun finally poked through the grey bank of clouds and England's barmy army of fans were roused into voice. Warner quietened them by smacking fours off consecutive balls to give debutante Craig Overton, who was preferred to Jake Ball in the only change to the England side, a bruising welcome to Test cricket. Kawaja then belied his supposed susceptibility to spin by smashing two fours from one Moen over and it was not until England's bowlers had gone more than 80 overs over the last two tests without taking a wicket that Warner departed. Wokes did the damage, luring the Australia vice-captain into a thick edge that Johnny Bairstow swallowed up behind the stumps. The seamer should have had his second wicket before the end of the session, but Mark Stoneman dropped a Kawaja top edge at deep backward square and the left-hander had time to bring up his ninth half-century with a crisp four to third man. Our standards The Thomson Reuters Trust Principles